the news today uh, uh, are the following. The Israelis have agreed to start peace talks with Syria on the understanding that this will be based on the principle of land for peace and the Madrid terms of reference. So the important thing today is, the, the major difference is that uh, indirect talks between, between the Syrians and the Israelis will start as of now. But the actual negotiations haven't yet no, begun. No, not yet, not yet. But there is one important qualifier. We would not go into peace talks with Israel if we did not know in advance that Israel is committed to accept the principle of land for peace. And if Israel would not guarantee that the end result of these peace talks would be the full return of our occupied territory. How certain then are you that the Israelis indeed would return the Golan and would withdraw to the 1967 borders? And what concessions are you willing to make in return? Uh, uh, it's, it's not about us giving concessions. It, the issue is the occupied territories. Israel wants peace with us or Israel doesn't want peace? If Israel doesn't want peace, well, this has been the case for the past uh, two decades. Huh? But if Israel really believes that it needs to make peace with its neighbors mm, and in a way or another give an opportunity to the Pan-Arab Peace Initiative to, to end up with a comprehensive peace between Israel and all the Arab states, then it needs also to address the Syrian issue. Now, the Syrians have been very clear about it. I am sure you know about the Rabin deposit. He deposited a, a, a written statement with President Clinton stating that Israel is willing to give Syria all of the Golan back in return for a comprehensive just, uh, uh, just peace. And these talks broke down in, in the year 2000. Of, of course, because Have Israel moved? was not willing to give us back all of the Golan. Has anything changed since then? The only change, no, nothing has changed. We have not changed our position. We still believe that if, is, if Israel is not willing to go back to the line of June 4, 1967, then peace will not prevail. And the, the Israelis know exactly this. So when they tell the Turks, we are willing to accept this, as the basis, it's not a condition or a precondition, it's the basis of the peace process. Once they accept the basis of the peace process, this is, you know, international legitimacy. If they accept it, then everything else can be negotiated. The U.S. today said it welcomed these talks uh, between Israel and, and Syria through Turkey, of course. Is this a surprising statement? Is this all happening in spite of, of or because of the U.S.'s reluctance to engage in this? We were supposed to be surprised big times because suddenly the U.S. administration that has really worked so hard not to allow peace talks to start between Syria and, and, and uh, Israel, through Turkey, of course, would welcome this today. It, it was lukewarm welcome, but it was a welcome nonetheless. But to be honest with you, no, we are not surprised because we, we think in Syria that they could not embarrass themselves publicly by saying, we are so opposed to any initiatives to allow the Israelis and the Syrians to make peace. This will put them in such an awkward position. So yes, we are not not surprised by the, the lip service they did today about this. You need to remember, it's not only that they refused to resume the role that was played by the former President Bush and by President Clinton in the past 12 years prior to pres the current president becoming the president of the United States. It's also that they vigorously lobbied the Israelis not to engage in peace talks with Syria.